guys, it's Kathleen Ems here, and it's time for more To The Moon. <laughs> that would have been great if we got run over. That would have been fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> What's this? Whoa. Don't do it! Don't do what? You know what. Don't... Not ride this horse? What? You're five years old? Okay, I won't I won't write not write it. Sorry, the grammar of that sentence like really fucked with my head. Hey! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh crap! That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there, help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Received note on Dr. Neil Watts. Okay, let's see what this note is about. These notes are kind of lame. Village idiot. Yeah, see, like... These notes are lame. There's, like, nothing really consequential about... Consequential about them. No. Maybe we're just gonna talk to them. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Ah! River! Oh. What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! I'm guessing that horse is for me. Uh, I wonder if Neil's gotten off that horse yet. <laughs> this is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron! What the corn cob? Oh, I guess I can't. How do I save him? There we go. Ow. Where'd he go? Where is he? Okay, it took a second for me to get used to the galloping, but I think I've got a handle of it. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Here, this memento will do. But I'm getting on that horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. Well, good thing I got them all already. Is this the diagnosis cert? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive, pervasive developmental disorders, this is rather late diagnosis. So I, I was actually informed in the comment section that she has Asperger syndrome and I feel really bad because I didn't mean to imply that she had some type of um, like schizophrenia or something. I think mo mostly it's because I have never met someone with Asperger's, I think. 
I mean, I probably have met someone with Asperger's, but I've never been, like, close to anyone with Asperger's. I know a lot of people with, like, mild forms of autism, but I don't know too many people with this form of autism. Um, so it's, it's quite educational for me. I personally think, like... I don't know, I don't really think less of people because of their um, struggles, but I understand, like me personally, with fa knowing family members that have issues, like it's really hard to deal with. Um, and so, and that's okay, like it's okay to say that, like maybe having a fam family member with autism is, is kind of hard and that's okay like you can still love the person and say that it's hard <laughs> because I know like I had a conversation with my friend's mom and she said that like raising my uh, raising my friend that he he didn't talk until he was a couple years old like it was I, he didn't develop the same way other kids were developing around him and it was really hard for her to like communicate with a child that doesn't communicate in the same way and I guess this game kind of reminds you that like the people that are willing to just like get past how hard it is to deal and to love someone with this it, that it's hard and then that's it's okay to accept that it's hard and like when you have the strength and the will power to see past that that is true unconditional love. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and keep going. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive development or disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Otwood. He's one of the specialists on the subjects. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried without any other current legal affiliation. Wow, he knew like before he married her. That is amazing. Oh my god. Like before he married her, he knew. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. Yeah, you know he didn't think that. You know he's like, no, I'm dying inside. I can't deal with this stress. That's how I would feel. Like, let's be honest. It helped you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called a Gween therapy that might help her. A Gween? Ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. What's a Gween therapy? Is that like shock therapy or something? Told you so. Yeah. I, mean, I actually know I have a friend whose mother had shock therapy for schizophrenia. And it completely changed her life. So even though it's controversial, it does help some people. Interesting. Mm, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> what is Eugene, though? I don't know. Why am I making it so obscure? Like, give me some notes where I can, like... I guess I'm gonna have to do my own research on this. Ah! Okay, that's why the clock was ticking. I was like, what's going on? Okay, let's find some more. I actually got chills. I got a little emotional for a second because I was like, I was realizing like, man, despite all this, like, he was willing to deal with the bullshit, man. I don't know if I could do it, dude. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could, I mean, like, could I? I guess, like, you can't really decide who you love. Like, you fall in love with someone, they have issues, and you just gotta accept their their baggage, you know? If you love someone, you just do, and you just gotta deal with it, I guess. Mmm... 
So, like, if we go back in time, could we make his life better? Hmm. What else do we need? Let's see. We need two more. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. Okay, now now I'm starting to see now I'm starting to see the autism. Yeah. The clock. So I don't know, like if uh, if I mean I I know like autistics, right, they get like sensory overload, right? Where like everything is just way too much. If there's anything at all that makes you know uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh, I guess that explains the ones in the house. Okay, yeah. Now I'm starting to see it. Like I said, I'm not... I'm not, um... an expert, by any means. Just a bit longer, they'll be calling for you soon. Okay, I'm ready! Now I can see why this game makes people cry. <laughs> because it's just like, this guy's just, uh So sad! Psst, look! I know, I can't believe he wants paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot, look, we leaped. Okay, yeah. Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself, what a loser. You got the theater by yourself all the time. That's different, no one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Where's he going? And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Wait, Q-E-D. Come on, let's go. What? Alright. What was it, Twilight? Hmm. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up, that's not even a full sentence. Let's go, let's just go look for mementos. Hmm. Yeah, we're getting closer. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, no, I guess permanent. What, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I have to remove people? Is that what I gotta do? Oh, okay. Getting stood up? Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate with, well with your kin, I see. Uh, stood up for a date! You know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? Okay, I guess I'm literally doing nothing. I didn't even realize I could do that. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag some something out of him again. All yours. 
At least there's no olives this time. <gasps> Is this when they meet? Okay. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> ah. What's wrong? You're so weird. <laughs> do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. <laughs> I guess she does make sense, but <laughs> that is weird. Uh, cute. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You, you feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Yeah, I guess I just need one more. Ooh, are they gonna kiss in there? I'm a creep. Oh, she has a spot for her platypus. That's cute. Oh, I can't. I wanted to see what was happening, but... Whatever. works. Let's do it. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. younger than teenagers. Come on, dude. Grow some balls. Uh, it's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened, no one will know, and everyone still thinks you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss! Or, or says yes, but really means no. Psst, quit worrying, what could, well, who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet, dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be alright, just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, what are you... Shh. Ahem. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 
Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you- never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? <laughs> About platypus? No. Oh, I uh, think that's great. Hey, I love his little face palm right there. Lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Frenzel light lens lighthouses in the country left. Oh my god, this is making so much sense now. How did I not see this? <laughs> this is making so much sense. <clears throat> Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp, lamp lighthouse. Oh my god, this sounds just like my friend. What the hell? <laughs> oh, is that what you're reading about? <laughs> um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about the Saturday at 8? Well... <laughs> Eva, I think the system's froze. Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. <laughs> I guess we'll work out the details later. <laughs> um, I just... Uh... What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Are they gonna hook up now? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving into your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just kid. I thought that was a romantic pause. Oh my god. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and been like, Hey, you! Go out! Me, you know! That's just terrible. I know, and it would have been still been better than what you just did. Uh, okay. Good job, dude. Oh, look at how good of a drawler he is. Painter he is. Wow, that's perfect. <laughs> Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Well, if you can paint. <clears throat> You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn and en to enjoy it someday. <laughs> Some great friend you have. Who would ever want to go back to this time in their life? Like, seriously, this is, these are the worst years of your life. <laughs> like, the adolescence. So much hormones. Oops, she's coming this way. Alt-tab, alt-tab. <laughs> okay, okay. Locked. Cafeteria only open during lunch hours. What about this room? Anyone? Anyone at all? God! 
So relatable. Oh my god. Every time, there's there's just like... I'm trying to make this point. I'm trying to make this point to my students. It's super important. I want them to do good on their freaking homework. And then I'm like, Hey guys, did you listen to what I just said? Silence. Goddamn silence. And then I, I call someone out, just because like... You gotta do it. Awkward. Yeah, I call your ass out. River, why don't you answer it? Yep. Haha. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way you're gonna get people to pay attention is by calling them out like that. I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sale on August 3rd of 1990. 1492 for Munch's Spanish. Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Damn. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have mere photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. I have terrible memory. Like, I just really envy people that can memorize f facts and stuff like that. I can't remember shit. That's a wrap. Your chump's better. Be, um, better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. Why? Are they a different shape in real life? I'm confused. Oh, that actually did something. Ugh! Fine, you win. Booyah! Okay, one more. Oh, is everyone going to lunch now? Yep, everyone's going to lunch. Let's go to lunch. It's one thing I don't miss cafeteria food. Cafeteria food sucks, but. God, why did it. Why was it so bad? Why was it so bad? Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Aww. And he, like, thinks that her weirdness is cute. I love it. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you ever know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait, so this guy's some kind of human hogging hipster? That's sorta, of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. I don't get it, like he likes I don't know what, he has a fetish for weird? Why is that so bad? Like, 
If that's what he's into, I don't understand. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff. I suppose so. So then she went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he can vest this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table here. I'm still not completely sure what's happening. <laughs> Reasons and intention aside, it's pretty remarkable they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine was went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly that it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Okay. Uh, is that... Okay, so what's the um, time travel thing? Where do we go next? There we go. Should I even? No need, I'm all good now. Kami! Oh, for Walnut's sake. Kami! Hey. Not cool, Eva. You never fucking block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. Sad music ensues. Sadness. Heck, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? I wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in I... A, I mean Joe. Joey! Jewy! Julie! Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yeah, so jealous. The tension. The tension is strong. <laughs> 